Hey you all, today I wanted to do another Essence wish list video. This is going to be on my fall picks from the Essence website. No sale, no particular reason. I just really enjoy making these videos and watching them. So let's, let's take a look, all right? Okay, so the first thing on this wish list is this Shushu Tong kind of sailor boat neck collared jacket. Shushu Tong is a Shanghai-based contemporary women's wear brand. I really like that they kind of exaggerate femininity and embrace the glory of girliness with their brand. It's obviously not necessarily my typical style, but during Fashion Week, I was with Shuang and Mina and their styles are so girly and jasmine as well her style is so girly and something about being around people who really really embrace girliness and have all of this power and all of these leadership skills um shuang especially actually all of them like they're all just so like strong and powerful uh, and strategic and thoughtful and they have these like devoted appreciations for fashion but sharing fashion with people as well but they all dress like super girly in fashion desire and anxiety Rebecca Arnold was talking about how in the punk scene women were able to assert this power while still maintaining femininity like typical conventions of femininity they were wearing stockings you know they're wearing hosiery they're wearing makeup but they're wearing it in this crazy, like forceful way that was still challenging standards. Like I think that that kind of um, way of expressing yourself has become more and more valuable to me as I grow up. And so I would love to play with the Shushu Tong aesthetic. It's like this exaggerated reclamation of girlhood and youth throughout their brand and I feel like this top is the embodiment of that like I think it would be really cool to wear it with like black basketball shorts and gigantic like over the knee like fisherman looking boots that I'll show later on in this video the next thing on my list is the Shanna Cave silver table for one ring okay so Shanna Cave has been one of my favorite like metalsmith like jewelry designers since the quarantine, like ever since I first saw their work online, I was like, this is so cool and it resonates so well. And I've been trying to find the words for a while. It's carefully handcrafted metal smithing of nature-based jewelry, ultra thoughtful, playful, joyful, sentimental jewelry. And I key in on sentimental because something about Shanna Cage jewelry reminds me of when you're a kid on the playground and somebody brings you like flowers from the other side of the playground that you're not allowed to go to and they rip it out of the bushes and they're like, here, here's some flowers. And then you put them in your desk. Uh, uh, metal smithing, I guess, is also so precise and so beautiful. Um, and it came up in this era of like the 2020 like crude jewelry era. I don't know if anybody remembers that like start of like earth tones, crude jewelry and um, uh, friendship bracelets and all these things that celebrated like craft work and things like that. Um, but it has so much more of a refined aesthetic which is why I think it's been able to last through that because it's its own unique thing. The next item on this list is a pair of Rick Owens boots. I'm working on continuing to elevate my style. I said in one of my previous Essence videos that something about my style always goes back to like this juvenile aesthetic and I do think it has a lot to do with like reclaiming my time. I talked about this on Twitter uh, a couple of days ago about how sometimes I feel like people are tapping into nostalgia because of the laziness of fashion and recycling regurgitating old ideas but I do feel like sometimes with personal style I think a lot of people tap back into the past because it's like hello I'm here I've arrived it's like your opportunity to be you and do you and do it the way that you've wanted to or the way that you imagined when you were younger um, in my early 20s I never looked put together either and a lot of people made a lot of really harsh judgments on me about that I just wish I could present myself uh, professionally because I think I am kind of a reasonably serious person. I'm like half silly Billy half like extremely serious like person um, like scientist <laughs> um, and like yeah, sometimes I wish I could just project that more. This is like in between there, these Rick Owens boots. I put that they're commanding combat fisher wormer looking boots. Like they remind me of wormers and people who work in like uh, aquatic technology where they like put the tubing next to each other or whatever, like uh, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. They're like apocalyptic looking, but they're also really stern and serious and strong and commanding. But I also think the high, almost every sale, every essence sale that I've shopped, always shoes. It's always shoes for me. I love shoes. I'm a shoe girly. I'm a, it's unfortunate because shoes, you know, you know how shoes are, girl. Girl, 
one thing about me you know how shoes are okay next on my list is simone rocha i have two pigs from simone rocha um it's a london-based brand it's like power feminine like fairy storytelling like fantasy but not too frilly like fashion and that's why i've always thought simone rocha was really cool but it was never my personal style but i always thought like simone rocha girlies were adjacent to me and very very cool and the first item that I picked is this black embroidered dress. Very, very dark, personal storytelling. Um, and I don't know, something about the, the work just is like really cool and resonates with me. I think it's much deeper and much more complex than it looks uh, on the top. And I just really like it. The next item is this Simone Rocha black puff sleeve blouse. It looks like I've said before about Molly Goddard's garments, like mistreated angsty girl in the castle or something like that like I don't know it just seems really really cool and looks like a uh, angry girls prom dress this is something I could see honestly wearing to an office job because I think I can sit down in dresses you guys I need a new everyday bag do I even want to show you my fucking Prada bag mm -hmm. Okay, well, God said no. When Jesus say no, nobody can say yes. I can't find my Prada bag. It's probably for the best. If I can find it, I'll insert a picture, but it is ripping from the bottom. And so, okay, as you guys know, like I just said, I'm out of a bag. <laughs> the next on the list is Yoji Yamamoto. He's a legendary stoic Libra. His birthday is one day before mine. He is like the genius anti-fashion legend he burst on the scene in paris in the early 1980s for fashion that um challenged the conventions of fashion in the 80s the 80s opulence like ultra revealing very conventional forms of constructing sexiness at the time um clothes his work challenged that and showed that you can assert your strength and dominance and sexiness as a woman in a range of ways not just one singular expression and it can involve a modesty and covering up this is a yoji yamamoto small ananas shoulder bag and i think that it's really it looks like a bit i don't know something about the shape period something about the shape being so um irregular attracts me a lot to this purse it seems like really easy and functional that's why i'm like also considering this one for my everyday bag i just uh, get concerned about like putting an ipad or a note bag in there but other notebook sorry in there other than that i do think it's like a really functional everyday bag you know we'll see though you guys will see i'm so stressed out about this this is unbelievable Guys, it looks like this wish list has gotten out of hand. I'm gonna actually cut it off here and I'm gonna do part two next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Doing these wish lists is really fun for me and sharing why I appreciate these designers and doing my storytelling gallerist wife fantasy every like episode of <laughs> Essence Wishlist Day is really, really fun for me. So yeah, I'm gonna break this up into a part two, which we'll be posting next week. And I hope you all have a good week. Thank you guys for watching and all the best to you.